Hello everybody, KC Runner for KC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Shelter War. It has been a while since my last video, I do apologize for that, but I have a lot to cover. So I'm going to be going quick and jamming as much as possible here. As you can see, the graphics are better. So I am running this in the emulator again. I'm hoping that some of the software updates have made things better. Tweak the emulator a little bit. Obviously, for those that have been following along, it crashes quite often when I do uh, videos, especially when I'm opening crates and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. If it crashes within, I'll, like usual, then I'll just go ahead and load it up on my phone again and finish out the video that way. But while we have this good uh, visibility here, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, cover all the stuff I got to cover here. So uh, a couple things here. Real quick shout out to everybody who is supporting supporting the channel. Thank you to Flart, Fwap, and Loco. You can see the, uh, the names down below as well as in the comments. And if this is something or the, um, the description of this video, if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and see the links there at Buy Me a Coffee for those uh, supporters, as well as YouTube memberships, Keith Giles and Stacey Turner. Uh, all these supporters are um, on an ongoing basis supporting the channel, so I very much appreciate all the support you guys have been providing, so thank you very much for that. All right, huge announcements on giveaways here. If you guys follow me along on my Discord server, you've already heard about this and have likely already participated. Today, I'm going to announce the winners to the October giveaway. Yes, October. I know it is November. I meant to get this out some time ago, but schedules have been quite crazy lately. So I am going to announce the winners to the October giveaway, which is 1,000 buy coins for five winners. Same thing we do every month. Um, the good news is, bad news, good news, whatever, this will likely be the last uh, giveaway we'll do within the videos. Giveaways are going to be moving to the Discord server. They have actually already moved starting the beginning of November, and we're now doing weekly giveaways instead of monthly giveaways. And we are also going back to 500 buy coins to each winner. But it's going to be 10 winners. So we were doing 5,000 buy coins every month. We're going to start doing 5,000 buy coins every week. So if you want to participate in those giveaways, uh, you can see the link down below or in the description of this video to my Discord server. Go ahead and join that. And you just basically go to the welcome channel, give yourself the Shelter War role. That'll give you access to all the Shelter War channels. And then you can go ahead and enter the giveaways in the giveaway channel. And the goal here obviously is to encourage and increase chat and discussion and um, get people talking about the game there as well, obviously. So we're trying to spread word, we're trying to help uh, increase knowledge in the game and everything like that. So um, if that's something you're interested in, if you're looking for some free buy coins, that is certainly the way to do it. Or that is one way to do it anyway. All right, what else are we gonna talk about? Oh yeah, let me announce the, the giveaways, the giveaway winners. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start blasting through, you know, all the stuff that we got on the screen, as well as, as many updates as I can remember. So the winners to the October giveaway, and again, these are going to be 1,000 buy coin winners for uh, five people chosen at random from the last giveaway entry. You guys might have remembered, might not, because it was a long time ago when it was announced. The range was 1,000, 2,000, and the winning number was 1558. So the, uh-oh, looks like I didn't post that, uh, paste that correctly. The, the differences there are actually incorrect, obviously, but uh, the, uh, I didn't paste that correctly. I will go ahead and check that out for just to make sure it's right, but I, I know it is, so um, you know what? I'm just gonna talk over myself real quick, go somewhere else just to make sure that it is right here. Um, yeah, because I didn't paste it correctly, so yeah. The winners are Sticks, Maverick, Bad Boy, the Cubicle Elf, and MLG Titan. Congratulations, you guys each get 1,000 buy coins. Uh, the winning number was 1558, um, and you can see the guesses correctly. I just didn't. Uh, do the uh the difference didn't show up correctly so i do apologize for that but it is still the same winners so i will get that turned in and hopefully you get them quickly um obviously i i kind of messed up by getting this out a little bit late so i'm not sure if there's gonna be a delay in there with that or not but um, i will get those out to you as soon as possible so thank you for joining and be on the lookout for weekly giveaways on the discord server moving forward all right so since the last time we've had a video um my squad has changed a fair amount um they pushed out a few a few new updates um we had this before we can now have two bosses or heroes or three heroes if you're up to cc10 i'm only at cc9 so i have i have two and as you can see i have curiosa now at full epic which is uh, just a recent change and i'm running with eight fighters 
powers up to 584 um with this last update my or just the leveling up with curios to get her stronger um my squad seems to have gotten a little bit weaker so i need to go and revisit all my weapons and figure out what's going on because i'm certainly not as strong as i used to be um during this event i was able to get through uh 10 levels of doom dome but certainly not as easy as it was before uh let's go talk about this you guys oops not on my hero uh, yeah, well, yeah. Let's talk about hero. We we talked about this before. We have we have items now, and you can level up your you can level up your items uh, to different degrees, and you get those by. Uh, I think all these screen changes might cause a problem. It's kind of slow here, but you get those by once you complete a level here. You can go ahead and fight. I'm going to go to the last one that I'm doing. This is what I'm I'm been grinding on. So if we go here click on this we can do the battle and they, they did just change the way this works lately and oddly enough i haven't gotten a legendary item um here since uh since that's gone live so i'm not sure if there's anything to that or not but um that is how you get those items and level them up and you're using this uh adrenaline here and which regenerates itself every so often so i'm pretty sure we had that during the last video as well but there is one additional change you can do now which i'm not necessarily a big fan of let me find somebody where there we go they made me do it so you can still have your weapons but now we have um the ability to upgrade your weapons so if i look at my uh look at my damage here it's where is it here we go so we got the plus one in here so it's just increasing damage a little bit it's it's um it's very minor it's not very big i haven't really taken advantage of this because it's either using um these items here which i'm not really wanting to use too much right now uh, until i spend a little bit more time in them or using buy coins so and then i don't know about this part but it, i believe the way it works is if you swap this weapon out for another one all these upgrades you're doing are going to stick with the weapon i could be wrong it could be could be upgrading this slot that's certainly a possibility but i'm not familiar so if you guys know make sure you uh, leave a note in the comments or on discord and then i'll cover that in the next video as well just to show you know that we're upgrading this slot we're not upgrading this weapon which would make a whole lot more sense it doesn't really make sense at all you know we can you know let's just test it right now let's go fighter uh, weapons i'm just gonna pick one i don't necessarily want we'll equip that and yeah it's gone and we can see the the one over here looks like i need to swap out for a different one so yeah i don't know it doesn't really make sense that you're going to be spending all these resources to upgrade something that doesn't get used unless you you can't swap it out i don't know that just that seems kind of silly and it's it's expensive they get you a little bit stronger get you a little bit of an edge but i don't know it doesn't i haven't really seen the, the use for that one yet that's that's my personal opinion on that one so that's an upgrade that happened um let's go do a battle real quick let's go to uh, we have the the secret vault the free expedition uh, this is new uh this is like the uh, the gem bay areas for those of you that play the uh hustle castle or other games i haven't really set my squad tons yet but you get two heroes and six fighters and as you can see i have multiple heroes so if you have enough fighters set up you can uncheck your heroes and go in with more fighters and you just basically swap them in and out as you need to and you can you can pay to heal and stuff like that and the further you get the more resources you get as you can see, I have a few, not tons, and then you go in here and you got a store where you can you can buy some stuff. I haven't really taken advantage of this yet, but obviously there is there's some stuff in here we can get that you know could be reasonable. Three rare chips, yeah, you know, sixty four hundred, which I'm actually not too far from. Three rare chips um, and a couple other things. So that actually is probably probably going to be worth it, especially considering you can watch a few commercials every day. And for me, I can get through six or seven without really even trying. I don't pay much attention. And I was doing it when I was doing the dailies of the event, but other than that, I haven't really done it. So um, I guess it's a good place to get some things that are going to help you get stronger. So could be a good place. I was going to show fighting because we added the... I just need to... Let me, let's, let's go to the collider because that's where I've been doing my grinding lately. Uh, I grind here on the collider at level 10, 72. And I realized something on here that I, I've always done in Hostel Castle and did it in Zero City, but it was only at level six and below. Um, but you can actually grind this every week and get, um, you can actually earn buy coins and grind buy coins. If you buy the, uh, the triple here, it costs 900 buy coins. And if you go ahead and cash in all of these, as long as you grind enough, you cash all these in, you get 950. So you actually gain buy coins by buying the triple and then grinding for the week. So 
I'm doing that this time. I already bought all that, so I'm already up on my bike, bike coins, and now I'm going to decide, you know, what am I going to spend the rest of my um, resources on? Probably some data. You know, we can get some some tech items, these guys, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, I've always just done Epic Nanites, but, you know, I have so many... Uh, so much stuff so there's a lot of grind you can do to get some good stuff which is going to make you a lot stronger and i always recommend this to everybody in hustle castle and zero city and and uh american dad as well um i just didn't realize that in this game they're allowing us to really grind and still make use of the the double or the triple um and be able to grind and get really good stuff which like i said goes away on the other games um so i do enjoy that you know definitely there's not events going on i'm going to do that because there's uh definitely a lot of good stuff you can get there so let's just go ahead and do one battle here. I'm not going to do too much. Uh, just to show that we now have the ability to skip some battles. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, so right here we got a, a skip button. Go to times two, hit the skip. It just takes you right to the end. The one thing I did notice with this, and definitely not happy, is that this is a bad example because my I can get through that without really losing any damage. But healing takes forever. It's so painfully slow, even with... Um, even with my um, paying for uh, premium and having everybody maxed out here, uh, I clicked on the wrong thing. It's still really slow. Healing rate plus 100. So I'm at you know 2400 per second, but it's still just painfully slow to do some healing, especially when you when you're losing a bit. So I uh, let me click on this. I want to doing a, a quest there. Yeah, so I've, I've, here, here's my assumption of what's going on here. It's actually, they didn't slow healing down, which is what it looked like. I think what actually happened was when you start a battle, especially if you do that in like Doom Dome, um, the minute the battle start, it's actually over. There just, it takes a long time for the battle to show on the screen and for everything to actually show. Um, so it's a little bit slower, and I think the healing starts in reality behind the scenes. The moment you hit go, the battle's fight is over. They already knew who won. So while that battle is going on, you already start your healing. So once the battle is over, you've already healed a little bit since the beginning. So that's the only thing I can think of. So when I'm going through and I'm like skipping a battle and jumping right back in, I'm ready to go. But all of a sudden, my people are way more damaged than they were before, and they take forever to heal. So I don't know. I, maybe it's the same, but it, it definitely seems worse. So that's a little bit frustrating part of this release. Um, but having that skip button is kind of handy, especially like right now when I'm going through the collider here on level 72, for the most part, I don't lose any power. I can just go battle, skip, battle, skip, battle, skip. So it's just a matter of the uh, the load screen, uh, but you can blast through this water really quickly, which is kind of nice. So I'm not gonna do that here in the video because I don't wanna encourage my, my thing to crash here. Uh, that's all I can remember for the updates. I'm sure there is some other stuff I'm not thinking of. Um, but that's, yeah, that's all I'm thinking. Oh, yep, I do remember one other thing. Down here in the store, they changed the way chips and things like that are coming in. I think they pulled them out of some of the chests, and now you're earning these uh, um, these guys up here. And I haven't I haven't cashed any of them in yet. Any of them in yet? I have quite a few, and once you you have them, and you can get different chests to get different, excuse me, different gear and different items. So. I'm going to go ahead and open those up here on screen so I can actually see what's in here. And maybe this is where the legendary items are coming from that I was missing before. So you can either spend buy coins to get it or you can spend your um, item that you're getting. So I don't know, probably nothing all that special. But these chests, this is probably the same stuff that was in these chests before. It's just now you have an opportunity to get them for less. So that was a big mistake on my part because these were the same items. Obviously, I should have went for the special forces one. I was I thought they were all different, so that was stupid on my part. So make sure you pay attention to that. Don't make that mistake. So when you get 18, you should go for this one. Don't do 12 and go for that one. Lesson learned. So let's do that again here on this one. So the rest of these are all different. So that's why I made that mistake. So let's try the transhumanism humanism implants. Okay, so we got 14 on this one. We can open one of these chests, get some chance to get some implants, some better implants. Of course, obviously, as you see, those are all junk, so that was a, a waste. So that that is one of the reasons why you shouldn't buy these chests for, for gold or for buy coins, because you saw what I got there. I just got three three pieces of junk, so it's not, not, worth, uh, not worth the cost, that's for sure. Um, let's go. Expert tools. 
I'm just trying to make sure I'm not gonna hose myself by opening stuff I shouldn't again. So this one looks like it's good. So 10 on this one. Let's go ahead and do that one. There we go. Nothing all that special. So yeah, these these really aren't that good. I don't think they're really worth it. It's certainly not worth spending the buy coins. Um, I'm getting these getting these items here up top just by playing the game. So that part of it's good. But I get some good tools. That at least will be good. I'm sure I can find some use for some of those. Not the green ones. Still not very good. All right, maybe some of those will be useful. I'm not sure. But obviously that was a fairly big waste. So but that's what those are. So we have that as well. All right, so now as far as the events go, we got a couple different things. We have, once again, we got a new hero coming to the game. Cyber Smith is in the game. For some reason, I always like these, so I buy these passes. It was 15 bucks. I don't I don't really know that that's worth it, to be honest with you. I know I said in the past it is, because you get a lot of good stuff here at the bottom, including, you know, some of these keys. But, um, I don't know. It seems like it's getting more expensive, and I'm not sure that I'm going to actually use Smith. So, if we look at him in the store... Um, you know, he's got some he's got some interesting powers but I'm not sure that he's going to fit in my setup even when I go to three different heroes I mean that that's okay but up here enemy that deals the highest damage gets possessed and turns against his own fellows that that could be good I don't know if it's gonna be an overpowered good but that should be good anyway but regardless I got that going on we still have uh, I don't know probably about two weeks left in that one I'm guessing 18 days to go on that one so up to level 39 need to get to 60 on that one still got a couple items to do for the daily that I will do outside of this video and then the other big item here obviously is the event going on the pumpkins have eyes and as usual I haven't cashed anything in yet um, I didn't grind quite as much because I only got to level C I only got to uh, level 10 on Doom Dome instead of 15 so I don't know that I'm going to be able to make it all the way to the end um, more than likely everything except for the artifact at the end so I'm just going to go ahead and start opening these up um, I might buy my way through to the end not sure we'll see we'll just go down this left path if there's anything good, we'll stop and take a look. Other than that, we're just gonna blast through. Premium's always good. These legendary items are probably not going to be used, but possibly one thing we can break down one day and make them useful. So I've, as you can see, some of the rewards are good. Ooh, look at that, mono crystal, 1700. That means I have enough now to uh, get that big chest. That might actually be worth looking at. All right, a random crate key. That's interesting. Uh oh, what did I do? Misclick. Um, so far, I'm noticing. I don't want to jinx it. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm going to do it. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing myself here. We're uh, about 18 minutes into this video, so far. Ooh, that's nice. That's useful. That's a good one. Yeah, we're about 18 minutes into this video, and we're opening stuff up, and it's not crashing yet. So again, I don't want to jinx myself, but. Uh, so far, uh, so good. So maybe they, they fixed that bug or the changes I made to my uh, recording software has helped. Anyway, the big item for the event, uh, number one, healer, bill, drone, and energy gun. I'm somebody who runs a, a healer drone. So that for me, this is actually something that's going to be useful. Um, I believe the restore and the bonus from engineering is gonna be higher than I'm currently running. Plus in this one, um, four seconds, it goes over four seconds, which I prefer. Both types of armor by 15% while the effect lasts. So we're gonna have uh, an armor buff going on as well. So that I think will have an immediate use for my squad. Plus I have chip spots too. So um, I think that'll be, that'll be good. All right, let's go down to the second path here. Getting some fallen hero tokens and Cory coins, things we just don't care about. More mono crystals. Yeah, we're gonna go cash some of those in, I think, if I remember after this. Um, compared to what, ooh, look at that, three damages, nice. Might be able to put that, I'm running three snipers at the moment, so I might be able to put that on one of my snipers. Nice, I do like getting these epic uh, worker items because they uh, are all useful for sure. A tool, I guess we're supposed to call it. These keys, as we proved, are not really all that useful. Maybe we'll go open up a couple more and see if there's anything we can uh, get lucky on. 
since we're blasting through these pretty quickly. All right, we're up to premium item of the event number two, the Soul Ripper Energy Rifle. It's for an engineer, shoots a random projectile. After each four attacks, a projectile deals a big amount of damage and reduces target's healing. Um, that actually could be useful as well. I want to compare that. I don't like the slow attack speed, but that might fit into my squad as well. All right, that's number two. Let's go down this third path here. We're already down to 24,000 uh, pumpkins here, so I think we are going to be certainly in trouble as far as getting to the end. And then the question is going to be, is it worth spending to get that last item? And I personally don't know, so we'll, we'll take a look when we get there. I think those tools are probably my favorite part of the event so far. 100 legendary nanites, that's nice for sure. More keys. One percent chance to poison the target, dealing nine thousand damage. I mean, what's the point of that? What one percent chance to do that? Why? Why? Why do we even have anything like that? There's one thing about this game that drives me nuts: that these um, buffs that we get on our, our armor and our weapons are so minuscule, it almost seems to the point that they're useless. Happy. Oh, that was the last one. No, it wasn't. What was that? That was just a random, random item here. A Harper Harpy electric cannon when attacking has a 10% chance to shoot an electric bolt that stuns the enemy for three seconds and reduces I do like that but again the 10% that is just that's one out of every 10 that is so infrequent it's to the point of almost being useless so um, that could be fun but not at 10% Ooh, look at that we don't have enough to even get the knives here so if we were to finish this event we need to have 29,000 more pumpkins and that means we got to buy 22 so by me only getting to level 10 of doom dome every day it caused me to be in a serious uh, deficit here let's see what we're missing and see if it's worth looking at so we got the master of field knives and attacking has 35 percent chance of causing bleeding which deals damage over a second i i do like that plus it restores owner health equal to 20 percent of the damage dealt uh I, I think i will actually use that and replace my current daggers on that one so again the buff i gave before with that plus one it's gonna be lost when i start using this one so that seems kind of kind of silly all right what about this artifact activates at the start of every battle summons akmoon's totem with 18,000 hit points the totem restores 1620 health to all allies every two seconds and lasts for eight seconds so as long as the totem lasts you're going to be restoring 1620 times four right so 64 almost 6500 in health to all allies so that combined with a restore maybe that and then use a, the resurrection drone instead might be better so i think this could be i think i want that um that's not a huge amount of restore but if it allows me to jump into my next battle that much quicker i do like that so again that's going to be oh and then we have this crate down here at the bottom which is a random thing um so if i would have gotten a little further i could have gotten a lot of those obviously but if i wanted to get the 11 and the 18 i would have to buy we said 29 so we're going to need 20 oh 29 minus 7 so yeah we need like 22,000 pumpkins so we can spend oh that's so expensive i don't know that's a lot to spend let me think we're definitely going to get the, the daggers so if i spent let me get the exact number here let me back out so 29 minus 7 is 22 21 Interesting that I could watch a commercial again. I, I've never tested this, but on a lot of the other games, if you have different devices, you can watch your commercials and get through the, your daily allotment of commercials quicker. Um, I did watch a commercial on my phone not that long ago, so I shouldn't have a commercial available. I don't want to click on it in case it shows up because I don't want to have to edit that out, but uh, uh, that would be something that might be worth testing to see if you can do that. You just basically um, have that timer reset on each device so you can get through the total amount of commercials you can watch that much quicker back to my dilemma here so twenty two thousand one two three we have to buy four of those so that would be six thousand which is cheaper than seven obviously obviously i have a bunch of them so i don't spend them on anything so it's probably worth it is it hmm. i'm gonna have to think about that do i have any time left no this is it this is five hours to uh cash those in i'll think about that uh 
off screen. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not. A couple things we can do here before we wrap up. We can go back and uh, open up a couple more chests here the way it looks. Maybe we'll get lucky and get something that's not completely useless. This time I'm certainly going for the 18, not the 12, since I made that huge mistake. So I will wait on that one. Um, we got the 14 on the transhumanism implants. Let's go ahead and try our luck there. Nothing again. Complete waste. And tech support chips. We get one of these. And nothing. Uh, the 15% is good, I guess. 15%? You don't use 15% for anything. That's weird. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to do the Captain Combat since I made that mistake before, but I'm not going to do it again. So yeah, that'll do it. That uh, That is the event. That is the uh, quote-unquote event as well to get the, the new hero, uh, as well as the updates and the, uh, the new details of what's coming with the um, weekly Bitcoin giveaways um, on my Discord server. So again, if that's something you want to be part of, go ahead and check out the link down below or in the description and join the Discord server. And you can take place there and jump in, start some discussions, ask some questions. There's a bunch of smart people that actually just kind of sit in the background and they'll jump in with people when people have questions. Um, but activity is kind of low, so definitely looking to drive that up. So jump in, um, participate, ask some questions, keep it clean because we have a lot of uh, people all over different ages on the server. So the goal is to keep it fairly clean there. So I think that'll do it for today. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you later. See ya.